I was safe. I was safe. A lot of y'all have been wondering where the Oscar and Emmy award winning superstar Regina King has disappeared to. And guys, I can tell you that she has been through hell and back. So what happened to her? And why haven't we heard much about her lately? Well, a lot of why Regina King just went under the radar has to do with a tragic love story and the even more tragic loss of her son. Regina, your son Ian has been out with you. Here he is here on the awards circuit. Um, what's he like to go to award shows with? Is he protective of you? Is he fun at these award shows? He is so much fun. He is so much fun. And he has been protective of me all of his life. Obviously, it's hard to forget someone like Regina King, who's won multiple awards for her great work in the entertainment industry. For instance, in 2019, she won her first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance as Sharon Rivers, a fiercely protective mother in If Beale Street Could Talk. She also snagged the Golden Globe for this role. She also has three Emmy Awards for her work on the drama American Crime and the television miniseries Seven Seconds. Thank you. This is amazing. I want to curse right now. <laughs> this is good. Of course, Regina has received several other awards for her work as an actress. And let me not even begin with the amount of success she's achieved behind the scenes during her peak years. Certainly doesn't look like someone who would ever struggle in life, right? Well, she was doing pretty well until life just started throwing her curveballs. First, it was her failed relationships. Regina married Ian Alexander in 1997 before divorcing him in 2007. And let's just say that the marriage didn't exactly end well. Regina even wrote an essay about the divorce in the book, He Never Came Home, interviews, stories, and essays from daughters on life without their fathers, where she talked about being the product of divorce and going through one of her own. Also, while talking about how difficult that marriage was, she said, the marriage part was probably the hardest part of it all. And I think any married couple that's remained married, hats off to them because they were able to get over those times when you're growing at different speeds and in different directions and finding a way to bring it back and get back on the same path, that's difficult. Even after such a bitter ending four years after her divorce, Regina King found love again with Cosby Show actor Malcolm Jamal Warner. They first met in the 1980s when they were both sitcom stars and finally started dating in 2011 which was just nostalgic for the people who grew up watching them. And as far as Regina was concerned, the timing was just perfect for them to date. In 2012, she even talked about the relationship saying, I believe the universe has a plan and we probably wouldn't have been ready years ago. We both had to do whatever we had to do to be ready for each other now. Unfortunately, that relationship ended after just two years in March of 2013. And it's one of the things that completely broke Regina. At the time, sources reported that Regina was totally totally blindsided and heartbroken after Malcolm called things off because he wasn't feeling it anymore. He actually told Regina and her son who were living with him to move out. And you won't believe that Malcolm actually broke up with Regina on Valentine's Day. She spilled on that when she was asked what her favorite Valentine's gift had been. And Regina told Us Weekly, that's tough because I don't have one. Someone broke up with me on Valentine's. I'm serious. Then he actually sent me flowers that said, I still love you. And I threw the flowers in the trash and he was upset that I threw them in the trash. I have to admit that nothing pours a little more salt into the wound than getting dumped on Valentine's Day and then trying to make up for it with a super sad bouquet? Boy, bye. Like they literally knew each other forever and then out of nowhere, Malcolm dumped her. Obviously at that point, Regina was confused and hurt because she literally didn't know what had happened. After her split, Regina also expressed that she had no desire to start dating again, telling Wendy Williams in 2015 that she was just too busy with work to make it a priority. Are you dating? You know, I need to do a better job at it. I do, I do. I've been so busy with work and my girlfriends are like, do you think a man's just gonna go knock on the door and like I'm here? And I think I wish he would. <laughs> but um, I have to make that a more of a priority. As for if Regina eventually found love again, she told the New York Post in 2019, people say, you're not dating anyone? I mean, I'm dating, but it's very comfortable where I am right now. Disrupting that means being in an uncomfortable place, and I'm not ready for that. Well, other than that rocky love life, something else that just tore Regina apart was the death of her son, Ian, who took his own life in January of 2022. In a statement the family issued, they wrote, 
quote, our family is devastated at the deepest level by the loss of Ian. He is such a bright light who cared so deeply about the happiness of others. Our family asks for respectful consideration during this private time. Unsurprisingly, Regina was deeply hurt by the loss, considering how close they were, and Ian was literally the most important person in her life. My son, Ian, the fact that I get to share this night with you, the best date in the house, Oh man, you make being a mother my greatest accomplishment. I love you, cheers. They were so close that they both had matching tattoos on their forearms reading unconditional love in Aramaic, which they learned while studying Kabbalah together. We were taking Kabbalah classes oh. and um, he uh, said, well, let's choose three each and not tell each other which ones they are and whichever one that's matching that's the one we're gonna get a tattoo. And we Aww. both chose unconditional. That's nice. Aww. That's nice. the most important thing yeah. to be a parent. Yeah. Yeah. For his part, Ian also spoke so highly of his mom and at one point told E! News. <laughs> She's just a super mom, really. Like, Aww. she doesn't really let, you know, bad work days or anything come back and uh, ruin the time that we have. So it's really awesome to have a mother that can also love to enjoy. Oh no, sorry. Oh my gosh. I can enjoy spending time with yes. and all that. So to Regina, Ian was her biggest source of pride, despite being a very successful actress in the entertainment industry. In fact, after separating from Ian's father in 2007, after nine years of marriage, she admitted being a single parent wasn't always easy, but that nothing was stronger than her love for her son. So the loss was a huge one for Regina and not just for her, but also her close friends like Vivica Fox who saw Regina breaking to pieces. More than anything else is that I'm glad that I got to hug her. Glad I got to look in her eyes. This has been absolutely one of the longest weekends I've ever had in my life. It's like I can't stop crying. But she said to tell everybody that she's gotten your text. The outpouring of love for her her family and her son, she appreciates it. It's not exactly clear what caused Ian to take his life, but he had said days before his death that social media, especially Instagram, was very unhealthy for his well-being. In one of his last tweets, he wrote, I don't think Instagram is healthy for me. He also used a popular image from SpongeBob SquarePants, where the cartoon character is surrounded by tiny clones cloaked in wild flames to illustrate exactly how he was feeling to his followers, adding, You know that episode of SpongeBob where they go inside his brain and it's a bunch of mini SpongeBobs just losing their yeah, that one really hits home. Since the death of her son, Regina hasn't quite done much, even though she's made one or two appearances here and there. And I totally get it, because it's kind of hard to focus when your only motivation is no longer with you, especially given the fact that Regina didn't understand why her only son, whom she loved with all her heart, took his life. Well, she still feels deeply heartbroken and continues to remember her son. In January of 2023, Regina recorded a lantern lighting ceremony she participated in for Ian's remembrance, calling him her guiding light and wrote, January 19th is Ian's worth day. As we still process his physical absence, we celebrate his presence. We are all in different places on the planet. So is Ian. His spirit is the thread that connects us. Of course, orange is your favorite color. It's the fire and the calm. I see you in everything I breathe. Understandably, she's still in so much pain and hopefully with time, she'll grace us with her remarkable talent and skills once again. Don't you want to see her back in action too? Feel free to drop your comments about Gina's very noticeable absence from the entertainment industry in the comment section below.